Hey everyone, in this video we're taking a look at a garage that was converted into a great alternative living space. It's 470 square feet, so it's kind of like a micro cabin, but instead of being in the woods, it's in a backyard and close to stores and other services. Inside, it's an open concept studio with an incredible interior design, and we think this space is really interesting because it has everything you need and it manages to simultaneously feel wide open and spacious, but also cozy and comfortable. In this video, we're gonna give you a full tour and take a closer look at all the elements that make this space so great. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. We'll give you more information about them at the end, plus a discount code for a great deal on their VPN service. Starting right here, you can see the outline of where the garage door used to be. And I love that they've kept that on the outside. It gives the building a unique look and it doesn't hide the fact that it was once a garage. But it's been closed off and the main access is through the side door here. So when you first come in, like I mentioned, it's a very open concept space. And what I like is that they've kept the garage conversion theme going. So you can still see the exposed concrete floor and they've also installed a corrugated metal ceiling. So although it's a newer renovation, those two elements maintain that kind of rustic garage aesthetic. So now we're in the kitchen and as you can see, there's an island here that helps define the kitchen space. One of the challenges with an open concept design is finding a way to separate the different rooms while still keeping everything open. So I think this island here that provides extra counter space, extra storage and extra seating also helps to really define the kitchen area. And there's a few more other rustic design features in the kitchen with the wooden countertops, the kind of farmhouse double ceramic sink and all the exposed shelving with the metal pipes. They have a small countertop convection oven and a microwave up top. And there's also a bar fridge at the bottom with a clear glass door. So the island here, like I mentioned, is one of the seating areas. There's two stools that can be pulled out to hang out and eat at the counter. And there's also a small dedicated dining area over here. This kind of reminds me of a seating area at a cafe or something. So it would be a great spot to have a coffee and breakfast in the morning. Over here at the entrance is an open concept coat closet with some space at the bottom for boots and shoes. This is the wall where the garage door used to be. And if you look closely, you can still see the outline of the door. And I love that they've kept these four small original garage door windows. You wouldn't usually see small windows this high up in the living space, but what's nice about it is that it provides some light while still providing privacy. And they've also done that with a few other windows that are in the space. They're a bit higher up than normal. But it works in this situation because the building is in a backyard with houses all around. So the higher windows provide light while still maintaining a certain amount of privacy. So now we're in the living room and this is one of the larger spaces. And they've used a big area rug to kind of define the living room. The space has a few different functions. So it is a seating area with a large couch and a chair. It's also the lounge and TV room. And the space can also be converted into a guest bedroom because the couch pulls out into a bed and the bedding is all stored inside the coffee table. And all along the far wall here, you can see there's some top facing accent lighting. I'm not an interior design expert, but I think the accent lighting helps compensate for the fact that the windows are a little bit higher than normal. So it brightens up an area that may have otherwise been a little bit darker. So now we're in the bedroom. There's a queen size bed here. And on the wall, there's a giant painting that's kind of like a mural and that makes the space feel much bigger than it is. And I actually really like this painting. It's a bit modern and edgy and it contrasts nicely with the farmhouse look of the space. To define the bedroom, there's an open air floor to ceiling closet here with shelves up top, space to hang your clothes, some drawers for storage, and even a shoe rack at the bottom. This is also the stand for the TV and one drawback of an open concept space like this is that you can't always hide everything against the wall. So like the back of the TV here, you see it from the bed and that's just something you have to live with. Over here, there's a small table. This could easily be turned into an office or a workstation. And I like the slim minimalist design. It fits well into the space. The bathroom is in the corner here. It's the only room in the space that's separated by a wall. And there's a sliding barn door, which is another nice rustic accent. 
And in the bathroom, there's a regular flush toilet, a corner shower with a glass door, and a floating vanity which makes the small bathroom feel a little bit bigger because there's more floor exposed. For heat, there's a small electric baseboard in the bathroom. There's also one in the bedroom and one in the living room. And those provide all the heat for the space. There's also one ceiling fan in the middle of the space to circulate the air and keep things cool in the summer. The space is 21 by 21 feet on the inside, which is a perfect square and which makes things a little bit easier for designing. One of the advantages of an open concept space like this is that less materials are used to create walls and separations. And even for things like the ceiling fan and the baseboard heaters, in a space with lots of separations, you might need more of those. Obviously having an open concept space like this with no walls can really help make a small space feel much bigger. And that's exactly what they've done here and it's easier to get natural light coming in throughout the entire space, even if you only had windows on one side. Obviously, some of the disadvantages are that there's a lack of privacy, noise travels, so those are things to consider, but lots of people can make it work. Converting a garage or adding an accessory dwelling unit or laneway house is something we're seeing in cities more and more. The upside is that it densifies the population in an urban area, which can help prevent a city from sprawling out. And it can increase the number of short and long-term rentals available in the area. The downside is that these secondary dwelling units usually can't be purchased separate from the main house, so they don't create new ownership opportunities. So it's not a perfect solution to the housing crisis, but it does create new rental spaces and it can help make cities more sustainable. This garage conversion is in Gibsons, BC, and the owners converted it into a rental space as a form of house hacking to help pay the mortgage on their home. We'll put the Airbnb link in the description below if you want to check it out. We want to thank NordVPN for sponsoring this video. We've been using them for almost three years now and it's become one of those things that we use daily and we can't imagine not having. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network and it's a service that protects your internet connection and your privacy while you use the internet and you can turn it on and off as needed. It's great for working from home or when using public Wi-Fi networks. And another fun feature is that you can use it to get around geographic restrictions by connecting to a server in a specific country. This year we've been using it quite a bit to stream movies and TV shows on Netflix and Amazon Prime that we can't get in Canada. They've got a special deal on right now for a limited time when you go to nordvpn.com slash exploringalternatives and use code exploringalternatives you get 68% off a two-year plan plus four additional months free. And they have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can give it a try risk-free. So that link is nordvpn.com slash exploringalternatives, and the discount code to use at checkout is exploringalternatives. We'll put the link in the description below for you. Also, be sure to subscribe to Exploring Alternatives and check out our playlists for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.